Bible school mass on the 24th Sunday in ordinary time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins and ask God mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have made a sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbors in justice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember, your last days set enmity aside. Remember death and decay and cease from sin. Think of the commandments. Hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Response, the Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. He will not always try, nor does he keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has put our transgressions from us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, 
None of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as uh, seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a letter was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way to pay it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise Lord Jesus Christ. Well, is it easy to forgive? Sometimes. Is it possible to forgive? Possible? Yes, it is possible, but not easy. When we say we forgive, does that mean we forget? Depends, right? Depends. Because forgiving is actually an act of our will, our heart, with the help of God, with His grace, we forgive. But forgetting is totally an act of our memory, and we don't have much control over that. It may, it may not. There is an old saying that goes like this, uh, men do not forgive, but they forget. Women forgive, but they never forget. It's not about anybody here, okay, so it's, you know, it's an old saying from other places, but don't don't take it personally. If we look into the Old Testament, we know God gave the commandments and he asked the people to follow the commandments. So you follow the commandment, God will reward you. If you disobey the commandment, then God is going to punish you. So the system was very simple. We call it justice and fairness. You sin, you are going to be punished. 
you do good you are going to be rewarded justice and fairness and in the justice and fairness we can see retaliation vengeance punishment they all come in that system many a time god the father is depicted as justice and fairness but because of that god of retaliation god of vengeance and god of punishment of course today the same it's something else but still speaks about the mercy of god but the main theme always was the retaliation and punishment of god just imagine what happened in the garden of eden after the sin we understand adam and eve were punished then the story of cain who killed his brother abel he was punished then we go to the story of noah the flood people were punished then we come to the story of sodom and gomorrah the time of abraham and lot they were punished then of course in uh, almost all the oracles of the prophets they spoke about the punishment of god the wrath of god at last john the baptist came and he also proclaimed the news of punishment unless you change you are going to be punished so the justice fairness retaliation vengeance punishment that's how mainly god is depicted now jesus comes and according to jesus he came and we know that he came to reveal the true and complete full nature of his father a revelation to its fullness commandment to its fullness and jesus in all his preaching in all his teachings tries his best to depict the mercy of his father the kindness of his father the forgiveness of his father and at the end on the cross he had two options based on the old testament on the cross he should have prayed like this father show justice and fairness to these people that was the option based on the old testament the other one based on his own teaching was father forgive them because they do not know what they are doing so jesus takes the justice fairness into the higher level mercy and forgiveness the new commandment of love and based on that he teaches us today today that divine mercy in our cases depends upon human mercy because we ask god forgiveness we ask god mercy for us for others we ask justice and fairness for their mistakes for their sins for their failures we ask justice and fairness but always for us we ask him mercy and forgiveness he reminds us today we have to change that approach ask for others mercy and forgiveness as well human mercy leads to divine mercy let us proclaim our faith i believe in one god the father of all things maker of heaven and earth the four things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten lord may consubstance with the father through him all things were made for us men for our salvation he came down from heaven 
and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess and baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. We thank Almighty God for creating us in His image and likeness, and we ask Him to give us the grace so that we may see Jesus Christ in others. That all church leaders will inspire in us a willingness to forgive those who have sinned against us, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That the leaders of nations will courage, courageously seek reconciliation and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For our parish, that we continue to actively invite men and women in our midst to share their gifts and energy with the church as they each discern their vocation, we pray to the Lord. Lord that the gospel's call to forgiveness may bring our society to reject the use of capital punishment, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all souls marked by suffering, especially the souls in purgatory. May our efforts and prayers bring them consolation, we pray to the Lord. Lord For the parishioners of St. Anthony and St. Lawrence, whom this Holy Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let us offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection. O Holy Mother of God, to know despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and your kindness. Accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just for our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the course of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. 
Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy alone, the founder of holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down his spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Our mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine issue, we are there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your way, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray may the working of this heavenly gift or no we pray take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through christ our lord amen when we begin our ccd program uh, from this wednesday so the mass on wednesday will be at 6:30 pm the lord be with you amen may our mighty god bless you all the father son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended go in peace amen st michael the archangel defend us in battle be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou prince of the heavenly host by the power of god cast into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls amen